going to get it going very shortly. And he is down by 13 pins. <laughs> Big strike over on 33 for Roger Bowker. A golden opportunity for Dave Husted to come from fifth to first, which doesn't happen very often. Five frames to go in our championship match. Came up a little short. Something very interesting, Jay, that ball was rotating really hard right to left. When it hit the point where it should have turned into the pins, it skids. You won't probably be able to see it from this angle, but right there, the ball slipped. Didn't get traction. I'm sure Dave noticed that. He's going to have to make an adjustment to get around that little oil spot. There's disaster. Oh, and now he is open. Oh, this match is all even. Ooh, and Houston talking to himself. And there's a look at it. You see the ball turning over on the end. Just enough. Chop the two off the five. Our statistician Chuck Pierce passes along that Houston has averaged 236.6 in these first three matches. Now he's trying to win the big one. Gave it more room, Jay. The ball didn't make the turn back. I think Dave is he's looking for that hook spot that's kind of diminished. Again, the oil moves a little bit. The players, uh, even on this oil, it's going to move a little bit. When you've got this many players playing basically the same part of the lane, the first part in the heads, they're going through that same area. They're going to move that oil around a little bit. When that happens, you get a different reaction on the back end. Well, he was going along like a magic machine there for a while. He was. Now here's Roger Bowker, left the 810 in the fifth frame, almost an 810 on the same lane in the third frame. Let's see if he's made an adjustment. A little farther out on the lane, more angle, got the strike. Great, great shot. Bowker has taken the lead by 10. And what he did there, Jay, is he just paralleled everything right. By that, I mean he moved his feet to the right and his target area to the right. You see he's almost on the second arrow there, about the 11 board. Gives the ball more angle into the pin area so he has more hit power in that area, and that's why he carried, rather than leaving the weak 10 or the 810. Good adjustment. Bowker with those two strikes, now in the lead over Houston. Three in a row. And Dave Husted is in a lot of trouble right now. I, again, guessed wrong, Jay. I didn't expect this match to go this way. I expected a good scoring match, but I expected Husted to continue to bowl as well as he has in the first three matches. A little more roll, a little more lift on that shot. He got it through that little oil spot, but a little too much, leaving the four pin. Newstead now down by 21. Still anybody's match. Easy spare for Dave. Two frames to play. You know, it's the NBA's 45th season and the premiere of the NBA on NBC this afternoon. Wonder if the Pistons can win three championships in a row in 24 years since somebody did that. The Celtics, I think, won eight in a row at one time. But to today, the Lakers and the Spurs, that's next. And of course, right now, Bowker has taken the lead, and Husted needs a, a strike. He is ninth. in a must situation, yes, Jay. Indeed. Ninth frame. Possibility of 204 for Dave. Mm. All right, he has a maximum now, Jay, with the spare and three strikes in the tenth of a 193 score. Roger Bowker at this point going at a 205 pace. So regardless of what Dave Husted does from here on out, the match really is in Roger Bowker's hands. Husted with that open frame in the sixth gave him the opportunity and Bowker took advantage of it. And how many strikes has Dave been averaging a game? Close to eight strikes a game. All that of a sudden right. he has one through nine frames. One strike this match through nine frames. 
And he was hitting the pocket well the first five shots. Just the entry angle again wasn't right. The speed control, he was trying to make adjustments to get the ball to finish the way he wanted to. Never did quite find it. bounce back in this one and he's a winner Jay because regardless of what he does in the 10th frame if he just keeps the ball in the lane he has more than Houston can get yes indeed here's a good look at his style he went through the ball well he's still he's playing that angle right around the 12 11 12 board on the right hand lane he's a little deeper on the left hand lane and he's more comfortable on the left lane and so I expect him to finish strong he was open of course in the fifth and then came on with four strikes. And he's our winner. Well, Roger Bowker is going to get his second national title. He's going to win $27,000. And he is going to go over the $50,000 mark this year. Big payday for the fellow. Really only a part-time player, Jay, but he's proven his abilities. He certainly has, and he is now 2-0 and from the top seed. Very unique very unique the leaders really in most cases take a beating just finishing out the match now his wife and three children gotta be happy the way he has come back to win this one And it comes down to who made the best adjustments, Jay. It's really what it amounts to. Roger made the best adjustments. He was hitting the pocket, not striking. He changed his angle of attack, you might say. And Dave never did really get the feel of the lanes for the championship match, even though he bowled extremely well all throughout the first three matches. Well, a magnificent seven to finish up with. A seven finish. strikes to take this championship. And what a wonderful win for Roger Bowker out of Ocala, Florida. Dave Husted finishing off. Happiness reigns here for this fella as he picks up first prize of $27,000. I think Dave just uh, got a little too aggressive in the championship match, had a little too much ball speed, and now he's, you, you see it's a little easier now. He's relaxed. He's rolling the ball a little better. And finishes out with a double and nine. 192 for Houston. So it is 235 to 192. And Roger Bowker wins the $150,000 PBA Chevy Truck Classic here at Marcel's 